Uh, Kenny, with the, the news obviously coming down yesterday and kind of being able to process it all, what are your thoughts about making a big victory? It's exciting. I mean, uh, college football is changing. Uh, I compare it to a technology business. Right? It changes every six months. There's new rules. You have to adapt. Right? I'd like to say uh, I had a plan since if you've noticed how we've been recruiting that region of the country since I've been here, I knew that was a, an option. And we made sure, made sure we diversified where we were recruiting in this class. That way we were ready, ready for whatever decision was made. Did you talk oh, you to your parents? Um, how helpful is it to have, uh, sorry, uh, coaches like Harrington and Sample to have that experience recruiting in that region? Huge. I mean, that was a big reason we brought them in was their football acumen, but then their relationships in the region. And uh, knowing that there was a chance this could happen, right, we wanted to make sure that we had a plan regardless of where we were in, which is why I was never worried because I knew we had a good plan regardless. I know this institution, we're a top city. Right? We're one of the largest enrollments in the country. We're a top 20 public academic institution. We're a top 40 overall institution. We have more Fulbright scholars than Stanford. I mean, I was never worried about Arizona State. I'm worried about our football team. President Crow, our administration, they're going to make pre make sure Arizona State's always okay. You made a, a strong push for Texas. You have a staff that's kind of built to Texas. Is this move benefit you guys from that standpoint? I definitely believe it allows us to, you know, go into different homes that maybe didn't want to come play for us because the region we would play away games. Now us traveling, uh, you know, to Texas, traveling to the Oklahomas, oh, we need to recruit Oklahoma now. That's a place that I in my past signed five guys out of when I was in Memphis. So we definitely have to get a little bit more aggressive in that region of the country. But make no beans about it. I mean, we're going to recruit Arizona. We still have to recruit California. You know, if we look at where we need to recruit, I think we're what we're recruiting right now is kind of the staple. And may we get, may we have the opportunity to recruit a few more people in the Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana region? Yes, and uh, we'll take advantage of that. Kenny, is there a sentimental part of you that having grown up in Pac-10 country and seeing the depth of the Pac-12 now and kind of what college football is becoming? Yeah, I mean, there's two sides. I have the fan in me that's like, man, like I grew up in the Pac. Like the rivalries, the tradition, that's the fan in me. The coach in me who, who came in here to do a job and to get this place where I know it can go is excited and thrilled because I know this was by far the best thing for Arizona State. So, you know, when I go, Billy. Oh my gosh. Billy. Yeah, ignore, ignore Chris. <laughs> right? But so there's two sides. When I go home at night, it's a little sad. You know, the 18 hours I'm here, I'm pretty fired up. Do you want to play any of the old Pac-12 teams that aren't in the Big 12 in a non-conference game? Oh, for sure, Arizona. Well, I guess that's conference. <laughs> Always want to play that game. Always want to play that game. Other than that, we're going to play where they schedule. You know, uh, keep the Territorial Cup alive and play where they schedule. Is there some relief this is over? Not at all. I mean, you guys thought I probably worried about this all the time. I didn't shed a tear. Like I said, I know what Arizona State is. Arizona State is a have. It always will be a have. When situations like this happen, right, you're, I was just blessed to be at a school that was a have and always know that we would be on the right side of the situation wherever we ended up because it's Arizona State University. Do you have to allocate resources and study Big 12 teams this year in preparation for next year? Obviously, you're already coming to ASU to the Pac 12. Yeah, we're allocating a ton of resources to study Oklahoma State. Week two, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, not really. We'll focus on that in the future. Now, Are we? does, does that league have higher budgets? Yes. Does that leave, league have more financial investment? Yes. So, you know, because of the situation we're in, we're going to get the opportunity to probably advance in those categories. And this is where we need the fans in the Valley to rally behind the decision to be in sports, to stay competitive, Right now, we need the fans in the Valley to get behind it, fill up the stands, show support, because we're going into the football heaven, Texas. If we're not ready and our fans aren't ready, right, and everybody is not ready, right, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. How did you find out about the developments? Were there alerts to your phone? Were you getting texts from Ray, Michael Crow? How are you kind of following the game? Yeah, I I'm not going to get into that. Uh, you know, I'm just excited, excited that uh, we're in the situation we're in. Coach, uh, yesterday uh, Arizona coach Jed Fish said that 
all the uh, recent developments in college football, whether that be realignment, um, NIL, or the transfer portal were beneficial kind of to the student athletes. Do you feel that same way? Yeah, I mean, I think there's pros and cons to everything. I don't think you can ever make a decision and everybody happy. It's impossible, right? That's part of making decisions. What you do as a leader, what President Crow has to do, what Ray Anderson has to do, is make a decision that's best, not for football, not for softball, not for hockey, not for basketball, but for Arizona State, and, and, for Arizona State. And if you look at what Arizona State is about, it's about serving its community, right? If you look at you know, our vision and our mission statement as a university, it's about serving the community. And every decision they're gonna make is about what is best for our community and what is best for Arizona State University. Good. On the field, Coach, what kind of progress do you think you guys made this week? First week a lot. Practice? I think the growth from spring ball to now in terms of what it takes to win. We're still a long way away, but we're a lot closer than we were. And I think the guys are coming out here like, look at them. They're smiling on their faces. We just practiced.